It is 8.55 now on your Friday and 53 degrees outside. Let's go check on your forecast with Marty. And for not too long, clouds will pile in and we'll have some rain. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's been such a nice morning. It's tough to say it's not going to be a great day. I mean, it's Friday and in every life, a little rain must fall, right? But we are going to see temperatures go down as we move into the Mother's Day holiday weekend. Speaking of mothers, here's Christy Breslin. Take it away. Well, good morning, Marty. Good morning, everyone. Good news for those of you traveling on the west side. It's been tough this morning, but it looks like it's cleared out. There's a look at Frederick Road. The top side of the Beltway around Cromwell Bridge Road definitely gotten a lot better, but still don't get too confident because there are some slow spots starting around Bel Air Road that's going to last past Delaney Valley. As far as your accidents go, disabled vehicle northbound 295 at 32, northbound 95 at disabled at the Fort McHenry Tunnel, and a crash Pratt Street at Green Street. Lynn, back to you. Baltimore County Police need help solving a deadly hit and run from earlier this week. Officers say 33 year old Lakeisha Fernandez was walking along Reisterstown Road Monday night and she was hit by that car. It happened around 10 30, just north of Randall Avenue. Police say the car left after hitting Fernandez, then continued south toward Baltimore City. Now, if you have any information, you are urged to call police. And today with WJZ, we will have more news and weather today at noon.